Welcome to Clodagh's Fall Suppers. Um, I'm going to share with you how I do a delicious roast pork with apples and blackberries that are ripe in season at the moment. Um, it's beautiful for a Sunday roast, but also on a Friday night or a Saturday night if you've got like lots of people around. It's a great kind of one pot to share with loads of people. So grab your apples and blackberries and join me in the kitchen. So I've got my beautiful apples that I picked in the garden, blackberries, breadcrumbs, onion, beautiful Irish curry gold butter that I'm going to melt down. I'm going to mix all those together and fill a lovely pork loin. And then while the pork loin is roasting, I'm going to make the jus sauce, um, which is apples again, blackberries and a little bit of sugar. So the first thing I'm going to get on is my butter. I want to melt that down over a low heat. And while that's melting, you get all of the ingredients for the filling of the pork loin. I'm going to dice up my onion and then I'm going to add that into the bowl with the apples, the blackberries and the breadcrumbs. Rosemary is particularly good with blackberries. I don't know if you know that or not, but it's really good with it because it's such a robust, sweet herb. It goes really well with it. And it's also really good at pork. And that's why I came up with this combination of adding the fresh rosemary into the filling. So gather all of them together and chop them very finely. I can hear my butter bubbling away, so that's definitely melted. So in goes the fresh rosemary, a pinch of sea salt. I'm going to pour over the melted butter and then with clean hands, I'm going to mix together all the blackberries, the apple, the rosemary, the beautiful Irish butter and the breadcrumbs. And what's going to happen when these blackberries and apples get stuffed into that pork loin, it goes into the oven, they're all the flavours and all the juice is just going to burst right open and go throughout the whole pork. So this is a loin of pork um, and I've kept the fat on on the outside and I've scored it. So that's just with a really sharp knife, you cut slits diagonally until you make little squares. And I put it into a really high heat so it gets all of the skin really crispy and that creates crackling. On the other side here, I'm just gonna pull this up and I'm gonna put my filling all in the inside of this. Pull this back up like that and then I'm gonna get my string. Okay, so what you wanna do is pull this together nice and tightly and put all your strings underneath it, so. And then twist it around here. So the pork is prepped. Look in there, those beautiful blackberries and apples all filled inside. Pop that all down on your sheet, like so. You want the skin side facing up and this beautiful tray full of autumn and fall is going to a very hot oven because I want the skin to get really crispy so I get beautiful crackling. And then I'm gonna turn down the heat after 25 minutes and let it cook through. I wish you were here with me to enjoy the smells. That's how good they are. <laughs> okay, like with all of the roasts I do, or joints like this, I always leave it to rest for about a half an hour before I start slicing into it. So while that is just chilling there, I am gonna make my apple and blackberry sauce to go with it. So apples are in, my blackberries, a little bit of sugar to take the tartness out of it, and I'm just putting in a sprig of rosemary. I'm gonna pop that over a medium to low heat. Oh, this smells like the hedgerows. You know when you're out walking in the country and you come across a big bush of blackberries and you bury your face in them and you eat the blackberries? This is what this smells like. So I'm adding in 100 mils of water. Look at the color of this sauce. Are you as excited as I am about this? So the apple, blackberry and rosemary sauce is ready. So I'm gonna sit that there and let it cool a little bit. It's important to leave whatever joint of meat that you've roasted to rest for at least a half an hour and what that allows is all of the juices just to relax because if you don't the juices just spurt everywhere. The first thing I need to do is cut the twine at that crackling. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god! Oh, hear that crunchiness. A good tip if you forgot to warm your dishes turn on your kettle when it's boiled pour the hot water into it let it sit for like 10 minutes and then Take it out and dry it and your dish is hot. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer all of this pork. Ha, 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 it's still hot. 
onto my serving dish, which is warmed, as I said. So all those beautiful bits in the bottom, the rosemary and the blackberries and the juices of the pork. I'm just gonna spoon them all around. These are apple crisps that I made while the pork was roasting. So simple to make. It's just apple, really thinly sliced, and then tossed in cinnamon and into the oven. The exact recipe is just below. And then some sprigs of rosemary. And lastly, the blackberry, apple, and rosemary sauce. That kind of looks actually like cranberry sauce. So my roast pork with blackberries and apple, and the blackberry, apple, and rosemary sauce. I wish you could smell this, but you're gonna go make it, right? And yeah, the full recipe is below, and please click on subscribe and check out my dessert playlist to finish this meal off in the perfect way. See you soon.